You can also use a curvilinear probe. Uh, this has the advantage of a very, very good overview. And in the ultrasound picture, you see the cubicle of the spinous process of axis. And then you see your key uh, muscle, which is the obliquus capitis inferior muscle. And still, despite the fact that you have a low frequency transducer, you will see that the greater occipital nerve may be visualized on top of the obliquus capitis inferior muscle. And in this individual, you also see the second dorsal root ganglion, which is in front of the uh, obliquus capitis inferior muscle. And still lateral, if I move lateral, you get a good overview. You see the uh, pulsation of the vertebral artery. So the big advantage of a curvilinear transducer is to have your, the whole overview until the lateral um, end, which is the transverse process of atlas, and the greater occipital nerve is still seen on top of this, um, top of this muscle.